Tom Segura has finally, almost a month later, finally, finally reviewed Joe Rogan's absolutely, absolutely well-prepared special. It's true. It's true. Joe Hogan is being talked about today by Ron White and Tom Segura. Can you believe it? And they're going to review his special. I'm not going to wait any longer to let you guys see this. This is from YMH Studios, recapping Rogan's live special with Ron White. Two bears, one cave. Will they dance around the subject perfectly? I'm excited to see this. Will they dance around the subject like masters of their craft? I'm a master of my craft. Or will they tell the truth? Let's not wait any longer. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hold on. I got to turn my speaker off so it comes into the recording device and, you know, you guys can hear it. All right. Here we go. Just a light schedule because then it's, you know, it's fun. And I, I went down to San Antonio and helped uh, open the shows for Rogan. How was that? Labs How was that? That was, that was fun. I'll tell you the truth, though. Yeah. I was in Costa Rica and I had. He said it was fun. Okay. So far, Rogan special. We're, do we're stopping at key words here because we want you to get the truth. He said fun. <coughs> Told Joe, like I'd heard about it two months before. I said, listen, uh, uh, I know you're going to do that Netflix thing in San Antonio. Yeah. And uh, if you want me to, I'll come down and open it for you. And uh, he goes, that sounds, that sounds like that'd be fun, which is not the same thing as yes. Right. Right. It's that's what I say when I'm saying no. Right. It sounds, sounds like fun. Yeah. Right. Which it did, but <laughs> anyway, I didn't say I'd do it. And uh, so, and then I see him 20 times, you know, and he yeah. doesn't say one more word about it. And he knows a million comics. So I figured he'd just rather have somebody else do it. I don't care at all. I just want no, he needs bad comics because he's a bad comic. So I'm pretty sure you're in the contention, you know? Um, yeah. Ron White. Okay. All right, all right, all right. I'm just not. We're just gonna. We're gonna lay off that one. We're gonna lay off of it. Wanted to make the offer, and uh, so I assume he doesn't want to do it. And then I'm, I'm in Costa Rica, and I, I go up there. I want to go to Rhythmia, which is my ayahuasca place. Uh huh. And I get up there, and I really hadn't been paying attention to the about the drugs I was on, and I was on the wrong drug, and they wouldn't let me do the. Bro, does his left shoulder not work? He's sitting like his left arm don't work. Am I am I the only one seeing this? Like, I'm not trying to make fun or nothing. But his left arm don't work, do it? I don't know. This is kind of strange. Ayahuasca, and I'm on the board of this place, and they were still like, yeah, this isn't a toy, Ron. Yeah. you got to remember that. This is a, a medical facility, and just because you're on the board doesn't mean you can party down and yeah. pop in and do fucking hallucinogens. Like, yeah. It doesn't? <laughs> I thought that's I why I got involved this with this place. Are we are we showing the truth of these boards? These these boards that people sit on for these charities and these medical foundations? They thought they could party. It's just weird. It's how all these rich guys act, man. They act like uh the world's their toy land. Or their Chuck E. Cheese. Ooh. Yeah, they are pretty gross, so I'd say Chuck E. Cheese. Have you ever been in a Chuck E. Cheese ball pit? Jesus. Man, you need to get your shots when you're coming out of there. Yeah. I, I became with righteous indignation. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. No, I understood. And uh, and then and then Rogan called and he goes, uh, he goes, hey, Friday's going to be fun, right? Are we ready to go? Are you pumped? You ready to go? And I'm like, oh, fuck, he wants me to do the thing in San Antonio. Oh, shit. And I'm in Costa Rica. But I just found out I can't do the ayahuasca. So I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I, I'll, I'll be there. I got on a plane in Costa Rica. Bro, I'm, dude, I, I'm not tripping, dog. His arm don't work. Look at his wrist. You could see his wrist. Here, let me, let me circle. You could see his wrist. It looks like, it just, it looks like it's like, bro, I don't know anything about Ron White. Cause it, <laughs> oh shit. I don't know anything. I don't know anything about Ron White, man. I don't know any news. Something happened to him. It's not my fault. Okay. It's not my fault. Don't cancel me because I said something about Ron White's arm. Shit, that shit look fucked up, though. Dude, it ain't moving. He moves his body. It's just kind of like his, like, arm no movement. His other arm's like this, and he's just, you know what I mean?
Anyway, shit, sorry. Flew to Los Angeles and picked up Jeannie and the dogs and then flew here and then uh, drove down there and did that show. And, wow. And, uh, and which was fun. You know, to, it's it's so much fun to do sets now that there's no pressure for me to deliver. Yeah, I just get. What the fuck does that mean? There's no pressure for you to deliver. What is that? Damn! I wish I. What do you mean? I wish I could go to my job with no. I live under constant. I work in the creative field, right? I get a project, I get a design, they send me out to go photograph something, you know, or I have to make a short for social media, you know, like, dude, there is always pressure. I feel pressure until they say, oh, that's cool. And I'm like, yeah. Or, oh, yeah, we like that. I'm like, yeah. You know what I mean? So how do you go on stage and there's no pressure? What, what are we doing here, dog? What are we doing? What are we doing? to go and that's one of my favorite rooms uh, that uh, uh what is it called the majestic yeah the majestic uh, is in such a great room all right we're we're in this uh we're like five minutes into this clip or whatever or like three or four whatever <coughs> the only mention of this special is that it was fun remember that remember that because i'm not i'm not i'm not let these guys slide i i'm trying to point out specifically when they talk about you know these guys or whatever it is i don't know when they talk about it it's a great room so i just get to go up there and blister a crowd for 20 minutes and go here you go yeah and uh that's just the funnest thing in the world to me that's very and with multiple were there like three of you opening the show like did you guys all do sets? yeah ari maddie uh the guy from estonia the killer from estonia and uh tony and i was wow. in the middle of that yeah <laughs> so could you imagine i uh, Maddie, I don't know Maddie, but did he, did he say Ari Shafir? He Ari Shafir, could you imagine? Ari Shafir? Could you imagine? Could you? It just seems terrible. I just okay. They haven't mentioned it being good uh or anything yet. Uh you know, it was it was just glorious. And then we went up uh to uh, New York, to Madison Square Garden, to where I watched the oh, Kill the Tony kill stuff there. Yeah. And that. Wait, 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 wait. Did he just call an audible? An audible. He did, he did, right? He was like, and then he just switched that shit up. They just left the special. Okay. All right. I don't know what this next part um, sounds like the uh, Kill Tony in Madison. Let's see. It was a hoot. Wow. It was just so much surprise stuff, you know. Yeah. That with, it, I, I noticed that, that when I got in there, I said, "Is that Mark?" This guy is boring, man. He ain't convinced me that anything he do in his life, and I'm still tripping about his arm. Marcus King on guitar, just in the band. And yeah. I'm like, I would have paid to see Marcus King in sure. that building all by himself. Absolutely. And uh, and he's just a side note on the band. Uh, people want to be involved in the show yeah, so bad, so much. Yeah. And uh, and then Jelly Roll came out and sang uh, New York, New York, and I'm like, wow, I'm just having a ball. And I thought I was going to be in the one the next night. And uh, so I kind of mushroomed up a little bit, and, and I was I was standing out just a little in front of the stage, just watching it, and it was fucking great. I get yeah. a big smile on my face. I love this shit, you know. Yeah. And uh, and then I get tapped on the shoulder, and it's like Tony wants you to go up now and and say what? I'm not going on until tomorrow, right? And I'm like fuck it, yeah, I'll do it. Let's go. I know what. Bro, this dude is so boring. I feel I feel childish right now. I'm getting impatient and I'm like flopping around my chair. I'm being a little immature. It just I just feeling sassy today, okay? You know, there's not many days I feel sassy. You're getting the sassy videos today. And you know, the, you, you guys listen, listen. This is we're going to take a break here. We're going to take a break. Just one break. Hold up. You know when when you sign on to this social media creator thing here or when you part, start putting videos on YouTube right y'all think we're going to be perfect you know you hold us to some impeccable standard that i am bound to fail every single time i upload a video but you got to realize you know we're all human we're all trying to work through some shit and you know i've already i've already i'm a self-proclaimed failure right 
I know this. I know this, right? But, but it could be entertaining. You know what I mean? It can be entertaining. And that's what being a human is. Some days you're sassy. Some days, like yesterday, I was emotional. I was like, you know, you know, like I was wanting to save the world. I still do, but I was, I, you know, I was vocal about it. Like I was, Whoa, and I, you know what I mean? I was, dude, I was hyped on it. I still am today, but I was like, damn, that was pretty emotional. You know what I mean? But, it, you know, some days you feel that way. Some days you just need to tell the truth about something. Or just let it out. You know what I mean? Like these guys. Like them right there. Why aren't they telling the truth about this special yet? They done said it was fun. And then they flip flapped to kill Tony. And then this guy is just boring me. Like, ugh, God, dude. I Why is everyone around Rogan not funny or entertaining? I just, how, how, how did I, like. Dude, it's so it's so unfair, man. I've tried so hard to be good at things. You know what I mean? And then these guys can just be tell the stupidest shit to other stupid people. No, I can't say that. Oh man. I don't know. I you know what? I give up on life. That's it. You just <laughs> gotta tap out. Yo! All right, let's keep going. Jokes I'm doing, I'll fucking do it now. And uh, and it was just glorious. And then they said a bunch of really nice shit about me while I was up there. And that was, you know, 18,000 people heard that. And then whatever a million people streamed it. Shut yeah. up. I do oh, three or man. four minutes of material. And then I I, I'm sorry, guys. I'm impatient today. You know, uh, I'm just not I'm not feeling this, man. I this guy. I don't this guy. He's just talking about himself, like trying to get some cool points. You get this fucking all this adulation yeah. and nice things said about me. I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, well, let's watch that again. What well, did you see that? Like, he's like, oh, yeah, you know, I, dude, that was all you wanted. You live off that. Why, man, you got all this money. Why, why is it, you know, here we go. Here we go. Let's see. Yeah. And nice things said about me. I'm like, That's it. I don't know. Dude, I'm sorry, guys. I know my video earlier and then this video here. I just, um, you know, I ain't, I ain't doing that, you know, like back in the 80s when they're like, heal the world, make it a better place for you and for me and the entire human race. What? There are people dying. All right. Anyways, y'all remember the song. Um, but. I, I just not feeling that today. I'm just not feeling that today. You know, this guy is really irritating and he's just, he's trying to bring attention to himself and get Tom Segura. And you know how, you know how I know that? Cause I've done that a lot of times all throughout my life, especially like in my twenties shit, especially for a while. Just like, yo, I did this. Like I photographed this, you know, I went on this trip and, and like, you still do it, man. Well, I guess it's just it's just what humans do. We're always looking for attention through our actions. It's strange, huh? We're always looking through it for attention through our actions. That's true. I mean, I'm up here right now on YouTube. I'm, I'm a hypocrite, man. What the fuck, dude? Do you notice every video I make myself look stupid? I disprove myself by by talking about them. I. We're hypocrites, man. Isn't that crazy? We're all just pointing fingers in the direction we want, but never back at us. That's wild. But yeah, this guy's boring. So let's get back to it. Oh, I'm like, it's like a love it's fest. It's a fucking, yeah. 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 It is, it's, it's so cool what's happening with, with podcast and that one particularly. If you have an idea, you don't have to. It's showing you just how uncreative TV executives really are. Truly. Because people left to their own device. Bro, listen, listen, listen here. Let me tell you a story. Look, the TV and the movie business, the TV and the movie business is just 
like any other business, there are hits and misses, right? Look at, look, look at, I upload a lot of videos, right? I'm, I'm new at doing this scene, but I'm a guy that says the only way I'm going to move forward is by doing a lot of videos. Why is that? You go, well, um, one, you see me more, but two, I know that I got to take a lot of swings to get a couple hits, right? I got to take a lot of swings to build an audience, right? I, you, you, right. But I will have more misses. You can look at my videos. I will have more misses, right? Then I will have hits. But being successful is just taking more swings. So you get more hits. It's, it's math, right? Um, and this whole statement here with that in mind is just like, bro, be quiet because y'all are swinging and y'all ain't getting no motherfucking hits. You know what I mean? Yeah, y'all ain't getting no hits, dog. What's up? It's just like these people, they just want to gatekeep. It's like, oh, creative. Yeah, right. Okay. Sopranos. You know what? Deadwood. You can name a whole, you can name shows. I named old ones, but they're some of my favorites. You know, The Wire. Oz, Oz, HBO was swinging and cracking for a decade. Just lap, lap out the park. You know, they had Oz, then they had The Wire, then they had The Sopranos, and then they had Deadwood kind of, I think Deadwood was before The Sopranos. Then they had Six Feet Under, all of those, baller. But you don't get the hits if you don't take swings, right? And the only difference between a successful or famous and non-famous is, you know, like they took swings as much as these guys are numb nuts. They took swings and they're still taking swings. And that's why they got bajillions of dollars and they took swings. Sometimes you don't have to swings. You just have to fondle the ding a langs. All right. Well, that's Hollywood anyways. Let's keep watching. I says, know what's entertaining. Yeah. And if, if you'll get out of their way. And we keep saying that. Right. For over years. And over and over, over and over. And they years. truly yeah, we go justify like, their own existence. Let the person who's creative do it. And they're like, no, we'll yeah. have this other. Dude, this guy, like, dude, Ron White's just like sitting there like he needs to snort a line, fucking blow on the, the pipe or something, man. He is fiending. His left arm don't work. This guy looks like he's like fucking withdrawn on this podcast. That's what it is. Is he withdrawn? He just sitting there in his chair like God dude his he don't his he's got bags under his eyes like he hadn't slept in like seven days. And dude this guy is Jonesing. Just you don't believe me. I, I can already hear you in the comments now. Okay. Watch this dude. Watch this dude. It's like Kind of crazy. Other guy do it. Yeah, this this guy knows these numbers. Yeah, and so, so you know, they, man, Tom don't even believe him. Tom don't even believe him, man. Are you talking about oh Joe? J let Joe do the special. Are you kind of saying? Are you trying to say that shit was shit because Joe didn't have control? Are you trying to pad the buff, dude? Y'all are tactical. Now this is what he's doing. He's trying to give a buff, a buff skin. Like some padding to Joe saying, oh, it's not, it's not Joe's fault. It's a, dude, look at my production. I, you know what I mean? Shit. I just turn this thing on and upload it. That's all I do. I don't give a shit, you know? But if the joke lands, the joke lands. It lands in my shitty, my shitty thing too. If it lands, it lands. The production crew. I, I think he's padding him, but I don't know. I don't know. All of a sudden, you, the the biggest media yep. outlet in the world yep. is a podcast out of fucking Austin, Texas. And, Insane. And uh, so it, it's it's an odd thing. Odd yeah, thing. it's so cool, man. I mean, the that lot. First of all, like the this whole thing that dude, they are, bro. Both of them can't look each other in the eyes. Do you know that both of them can't look each other in the eyes? Do you see that? They can't. They can't do it. They're like, bro, if I look you in the eyes, I got to tell the truth. My heart can't hide it anymore. You know what I mean? That's what's going on. So they can't do it. They can't do it. You know, just look at him, man. It's all in the contact. He's like, you know what? You know what? That live special, boy, 
you know, he's going to be like, watch. He's going to be like, boy, that was something, right? That they just came out here and they did all that. And he went on stage and you know, he was brave, right? He was so prepared. He just, it just looked like he was prepared. He just looked, you know, he, he, he looked prepared. You know, that special looked prepared. It's going to be something like that. It, dude dude this is classic he's not he's he's gonna say nothing about the special but the best way he could say nothing not to because he don't want to get crucified you know why because he know there's guys like me watching it right now making this video like come on baby do the rip, 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 rip. come on say it say it say it i'm gonna clip it i'm gonna clip it oh clip tonight oh yeah i'm gonna clip it girl okay but anyways damn i'm hyped i'm hyped i done i done pushed my chair down shit let me get this bitch back up here anyways so he ain't gonna the best way to do it is to compliment rogan on how prepared he was that's the best way to do it he's he's not he will not watch let's take bets let's take bet my chair is messing up damn did i just bounce okay anyways here we go here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm, I'm excited now. Are you? Okay. Netflix has gotten into it. I think more people are going to go back to it. It's like we left broadcast TV, right? Broadcast became like, oh, that's of the past. And everything became on-demand streaming. But what they realized in this last year especially is that there's something about eventizing something live. And that only traditionally happens on broadcast. And now that streamers are doing it, like the people are flipping out for an event like these li like live roast and the live hey just just to point it out we're pointing out they said it was fun he said people are flipping out for these live events notice how he's complimenting the live events so it looks like he's complimenting rogan but he's not saying rogan that way we don't roast him smart smart tom that was smart tom but it looks like you're still gonna keep talking it said oh we got a little bit of this segment Live specials rocked at his special live cat and now joe yeah and like the numbers are that like people are like oh i want to watch the numbers are there fun <coughs> people are flipping out the numbers are there it in the moment that it's happening <coughs> that's still a thing for people they still want you that. know i just i guess i i tried to talk joe out of it i said joe that's stupid why yeah on earth i was telling him that What do you mean you tried to talk Joe out of it? What do you mean you tried to talk Joe out of it? Please, please. So there was someone. There was one. I want to be with you. Do you remember that song? The only way is one. We can get the na na na. Nobody remembers 90 RMB. Okay, whatever. Fuck it. Um. Always oh, back. Sorry. Uh. Someone, someone tried to talk him out of it. I mean, there is hope in the world, folks. There is one. This in front of the Netflix executives. Mm. Yeah. I'm like, it's ridiculous. Mm. What do you get from it? Mm -hmm. Record three. Pick the best one. Fucker. What'd he say? Dude, this guy is boring as shit, man. He he is so full of shit. He, dude. Bro, and his arm is not working. I swear to God. Can someone give me an update in the comments about this dude's arm, dude? I am seriously concerned. There is no way they let... Okay. Huh? He goes... I don't know. He goes... It, may, it was scary, so I, you know, so yeah. I want to do it. Yeah, because it's you scary. Know, he'd jump out of a plane kind of guy. Yeah. And, uh, and you know, and, 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 and also, he was prepared to do it, and he did it. I told you, I told you, I told you, it, dude, this is perfect. They worked this out. They, they, they worked this out. You know, this is, I cannot, I, mm, I called it though. I called it. I called it. I called it. That's right. I called it. And I could tell because I'm watching it live. He's going streaming from that room and I'm yeah. watching on TV in this room. Yeah. And uh, bro, he looks like a crackhead, man. Dude, this dude is on some drugs or he's an alcoholic. That is what it is, man. 
you can I, look i'm not trying to be mean i'm not trying to be mean like i'm not like malicious like yo we can make fun of people but when it comes to something like this dude how do i know i don't know i don't know but this guy looks messed up i can't believe you know and when you're messed up you you think you're okay and you you come on tv like this i think he's messed up i'm just saying uh, I can tell Joe when he's having fun, he gets his lips kind of turn up in a jokery kind of way. Yeah, and I'm like, that motherfucker's having fun. He's having he fun. He is having fucking fun. He knows. Bro, they ain't saying shit, are they? They ain't saying shit. Not a goddamn thing. Not a thing. Not a thing. You know, they're not saying anything. Uh, it is. There, he had fun. Okay. Okay, so fun. People going wild for it. I don't even remember the other one. It don't even matter, right? Prepared. Prepared. Yeah, the one I called. Damn, forgot about it. Right? It said prepared. That was what's going on. He's well, I told aware. him nobody's more ready because he had... Are you ready? I'm ready. Ready or not? Tonight is the night, get ready or not. Ooh, ooh, your special fucking sucked. All right. Anyway, sorry. I'm just hyped today, folks. Um, he was ready. He was prepared and ready. Lord, 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 L Lord. <laughs> Y'all are some ass kissers. Man, this is crazy, man. People just line up. Line up, you know? Line up. And got me locked up. Yeah, it's run that set hundreds of times. Yeah. Hundreds of times. Yeah. So, like, as far as, like, you know, when you when you shoot, you're like, am I ready? Right? And it's usually... Let's go ahead and play it. Usually, like, you know, you hear about... There's people I know who did their just specials now after like 25 sets they don't like non road working guys they're like yeah i've done this like 25 times and you're like what what are you talking about like and they're like how many times do you do it I'm like 250 times yeah and they're like oh really and you're like yeah but he had like years of running this yeah he do you notice they ain't saying shit they're just <laughs> they're just saying he 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 did this for years and uh they're not saying the actual pit man they're smart man that you them people when you get up into them media worlds and you got all them people watching you and just manicuring you and shit that, that, that it sure don't end up like my shit you know what i mean like, you know it's crazy how prepared they are for this this is wild ready or not so i mean he was super ready yeah and i I think my last two, I think I shot at this little theater in Atlanta, 800 seats. And you can, you can go in there and do shows for a week and, yeah. and then maybe record, you know, four of them or three of them or something yeah. and see which one you like. And it's, a, it's pretty, <laughs> pretty safe way to do it. Yeah. You know? Foolproof play. Yeah. Yeah. So. But, but the Tony thing too, it's like, we were talking about it. Hey. What's the best way to not say anything? A switch of the subject. You know the subject, sorry. Switch the subject. They just, what? well, let's go to Tony. You know, uh, it's kind of crazy. I'm here, I'm smoking a joint. Let's, uh, it looks like this segment is short. Let's see what they say about Tony. Here's the thing, right? Okay. Okay, here we go. So, so they dance around Rogan. They say nothing, but they say it, it looked like he had fun. He was ready and prepared. That damn, that was woof. That was like PR 101 right there. Now, here's the kicker. I had to smoke that joint so I could think of the kicker on the spot. We're filming this live and then we just upload it. It is what it is. Hold on, let me get some water. Here's what we got to look out for. This is this is key. Did they if you want you if, okay, here it is, here it is. If if you're unsure that they danced around Rogan and then they're completely bullshitting, this will be the thing that tells you if they are or if they're not. 
if they compliment Tony, if they say anything like, uh, what do they say? Uh, the, the words he murdered, killed, uh, isn't that like the two words they say when someone does good? Or if they say he did good, or if it was awesome, you know what I mean? But look and see if they compliment him. Let's go. Where he's just like so, he's been so persistent. Okay, that okay. this is Not the show. You know what I mean? Like he, mm -hmm. I feel like he, in the years he's been doing this, that dude never took a Monday off. I don't think he took a vacation. See, do you see, do you see how, look at this, look at this right here. Do you see the eye contact now? He's looking wrong. This means he's genuine. When people got shifty eyes, there's people that are nervous, right? Right. But when someone can't look you in the eye, that tells, that tells him, tells you a lot it just does right now look he's being genuine here and he's not talking about the show he's talking now uh about how i guess tony made this thing happen through his hard work i imagine but look at how he's looking and looking how he's like and he just showed up and it was just crazy and i cannot believe it like oh my god this guy just fucking did it dude watch patient to do like he was just always like, this is the show and, and building it piece by piece. The show really is about watching him be the captain of that ship, I think. That's what yeah, the show is. Yeah, and then, you know, you also get some guests, that, I mean, some panelist guests that are that also it good fun. at doing the same thing yeah, Tony's yeah. good at. But dude, this guy, dude, this guy's a junkie, man. <laughs> I know some people, y'all are going to hate on me. Dude, this guy is fiend. Like, look at look at his face, man. I just, or he's like, he's an alcoholic, dude. He is something, dude. Got to hang on this, dude. Bro, it's crazy. It's crazy. I mean, no, I will. If you can convince me otherwise, I'll be like, I'm sorry, I said that. Right, no problem. But this dude, like, man, now his arms working. Shh. The Scooby-Doo mystery has been solved, my friends. It's wild, dude. He's jonesing. Uh, that's but the best thing I, when I do it, I, I, I he can't I, look I, nobody in the eyes. His eyes are all over the place. The, uh, but I just try to stay out of his way because, it, and then I if I think it's something to say, I say it. But it, for the most part, I let him do what he does, and it, it works out just fine. It works out just fine. You know? Yeah. And, uh, I see some some guests try to kind of overpower him or try to be, you know, just. I also want to say, like, when Tom is genuine, he's a likable guy, right? I could see that. Like, this is this is my taste or however I perceive things. When Tom is genuine, he should have stuck to that, right? I get it. He looks good now. He's in shape. Uh, you know, if he was a likable guy, this guy would be massive, more massive than he is, right? There will always be people that don't like you, right? You just got to whatever, right? Ban. That's what I do. You say something crazy. Ban. No, I'm just joking, but I'm serious. No, I'm just joking. Anyways, uh, I just, it's just hard for him now, you know? Um, I think Tom, if Tom really just separated him from all this stuff and he just went out on his own, relied on his own mustard, just dipped out from the Rogan sphere and just, he, I think Tom could redeem himself. I'm going to put it out there. I think he could, but he needs to get away from all these clowns, dude. They're, the, Tom has a thing, right? He had like he has that uh news reporter look right there, like, oh yeah, tell me what happened in the war in Ukraine. You know, like he has that. He has that look to him. Um I don't know. I think Tom just break away. Break away. Okay, here we go. Just over the fucking top on yeah. every fucking comment and I don't think you can do you can do it any way you want to, but uh I like to just stay out of his way. But it I I saw it years ago at the store and uh, I was like, I was intrigued because it just sounds like a bad idea. When he told me, you know, one of you come out these comics, we've never been done, you know, one minute. I'm like, uh, huh? and then yeah. I saw him do it. And I'm like, oh, okay. I guess, I guess it makes sense. And yeah, but he never wavered one Not a bit. and was doing it for. What the fuck is he even talking about, dude? I am just lost, man. I know, listen to me is crazy, right? I'm all over the place, but this guy's just saying shit that don't make sense. At least what I say makes sense. It just comes out. And, you know, this guy, dude, he's an alcoholic, isn't he?
You know what I mean? He needs a drink. 15 people, and now he's <laughs> it's just crazy. And I kind of believed in it, and I encouraged him to move to Texas yeah. and all that. And uh, and I, I, I believed in what he was doing, and all of a sudden I was right about something. Well, yeah. you definitely were. I mean, and that not wavering thing is that story you always hear from Hollywood about, like, you know, someone writes a script, and they're like, this this is what I want to make. And, the, and they tell you, like, you know, like, well, I think Star Wars was like that, where he's like, they're like, what the fuck is this? Something in space? Like, right. people were just like, you're, you're out of your mind. But when you're, like, so believe in something, whether it's a podcast or something you wrote, right. you really do. And, like, then it, you, it's like everyone comes around later. Like, like Bohemian Rhapsody. Mm-hmm. Nobody believed in that album. You no. Know? And, uh, but they did. They fucking believed in that fucking album. Yeah. But it was sure fun to watch and uh, all the bombs going off. It was so fun, man. Rockets, Red Glare, big American thing. That's and very cool. It was. It, we we loved it. We everybody had a great time. The audiences were the audiences were great too in New York. I mean, they were the audiences were funny. They had timing. They knew yeah. when to laugh at somebody. Yeah. It was, what does that even mean? When they laugh, if you're funny, you know, like so. So you're not getting real laughs? Like the audience is choreographing their laughing with the timing of your set? Like how is, I don't make sense to me. I'm a simple man and it don't make sense to me. It doesn't. What are we doing here? What, what all of Madison, there was a guy, you know, you remember them guys back in the nineties on the multicam, them like full house and uh, what was the one um, with Urkel? Did I do that? You know? <laughs> You remember that? And they would always have the people that would come out before they uh, started filming the show and they would warm up the cloud and they make, oh yeah. And they make them laugh and dance and all that. There, there's a lizard on my window. That is, God damn, that is a big lizard. Shit. Anyways, was that what they're doing up there at Madison Square Garden? It's, we, we, I mean, the audience would laugh if you shit's funny, man. It's not rocket science. What is this? What? Are we living? Are we living in a in a matrix, man? Joe Rogan has just like I am. I the only one? Am I Neo? Am I Neo? Just cutting through fucking space and time, seeing through all the bullshit. Am I Neo? Is that what's happening? Dude, how does how are all these people falling for this? This guy needs a drink, man. He what is he looking? He been looking over. What is he looking at? I'm going crazy, man. I am in the matrix, dude. Today is not the day. I done woke up on some like weird planet. It does not make sense. All right, the segment's over. Let's see if they say anything. It's really weird. If you ever go back and have a chance to watch that, that audience that first night had timing and rhythm. Like sharp. Yeah, yeah. just a cracking. Tom fucking, don't believe uh, it. That's cool. Yeah, it was great. That's Everybody great. killed. Everybody killed that went on the Wait, did, did, did my ears hear? Or what this man just had to say, I'll be your Huckberry. Um, he just said they killed twice. We need not watch anymore, my friends, because this is a setup to make it look like you said something about Rogan, but you didn't say anything bad, but you didn't say anything that was going to get you lit up on the YouTubes. It is, they are all shills for the Rogan. Rogan has built a tight circle of weak-minded individuals that do not have the courage to tell him that his special was dog balls. It is quite sad. We've sat here and they said nothing. It was all orchestrated, folks. You know, just go out there. You know, I don't know. We're living in the matrix and uh, I don't know what to do about it. Good night.